Hello dear students. Today we are going to do the next series of uh, lessons on vapor pressure. And here we will be talking about two liquids which are mixed to form a solution. The two liquids we are talking about here are A and B. And we need to remember over here that we are talking about liquids which are volatile. Both the liquids are volatile. That means particles of both the liquid can convert into the vapor state. We have seen earlier how pressure or vapor pressure is affected by temperature. So first thing is we shall talk about temperature being fixed. Raoult's law talks about the vapor pressure of each of the components when two liquids are mixed with each other. In other words, we are talking about a binary solution over here. That means a solution made up of two liquids A and B. Here PA0 and PV0. This is the vapor pressure of pure A, vapor pressure of pure B. Raoult's law comes into force when we have A and B mixed with each other to give us a mixture of A and B. Raoult's law says that in a binary solution of volatile liquids, the vapor pressure of any component is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that component in solution. What do we mean by that? Let us try and understand it with the help of this diagram. If I have only A in a container, it is the particles of A which will vaporize. So the vapor pressure is only due to pure A. If I have only B in the container, vapor pressure will be only because of the particles of B that is PB0. Now when I have mixed the two solutions, we have understood earlier in the earlier videos, we have seen that vapor pressure is due to the particles which escape from the surface. Now on the surface, instead of 5 A's being there or 5 B's being there, there is a mixture of A and B particles. So we will have particles of A escaping from here, particles of B as well are escaping. In other words, it is not that all 5 particles of A are vaporizing. In the vapor state, we have particles of A and B. So the vapor pressure in this case will be due to the particles of A and due to the particles of B. But not all 5 particles of A, only 3. So we say the vapor pressure of A in this solution is equals to the mole fraction of A in the solution into the vapor pressure of pure A. In other words, how much fraction of the solution is A? That decides its vapor pressure in a mixture of two liquids. Same way, PB, that is the vapor pressure of B in this mixture, is mole fraction of B into the vapor pressure of pure B. Combining the two, hence the total vapor pressure is a combination of the vapor pressure of A and the vapor pressure of B. So P total here is XA into PA0 plus XB into PB0. We need to remember over here that the sum of mole fractions in any liquid is equals to 1. What if one of them is non-volatile? Let us suppose if I say B is non volatile. In other words, it doesn't change into the vapor state. Only the particles of A are there on the surface. In that case, the total vapor pressure of the solution will be only due to A, but depending on its mole fraction. That means P total will be a fraction of PA0 and not just PA alone because what we have over here is now on the surface we have particles of A and B but only particles of A are vaporizing and not of B. So we need to remember the condition. We shall be talking about more of this later in the third video where we talk about lowering of vapor pressure as a colligative property. 
Coming back to Raoult's law for volatile liquids, we've done Henry's law, we've done Raoult's law. Henry's law says that the partial pressure of the gas above a liquid mixture with a gas dissolved in a liquid where the two are in equilibrium is dependent or directly proportional to the mole fraction of the gas in the solution. Raoult's law says something similar where we talk about the vapor pressure of a component depending on the mole fraction of that component in solution. So if you compare the two and the Henry's law constant if it becomes equal to Pa0 under certain conditions then we say that the partial pressure of the gas is equal to the Pa over here that means the partial pressure the vapor pressure of a component. Hence we say that Henry's law and Raoult's law become equivalent under special conditions that is only when Kh becomes equal to Pa0. Hope this clears uh, the concept of Raoult's law. Best thing for you to do now would be to attempt at least 5 numericals based on this concept. When you are attempting a numerical, please remember, make sure that you list down the values which are given to you, PA0, PB0, XA, XB and then you just have to insert it in the formula. Sometimes you may be given the total pressure and one of the other values may be missing. In that case, again, you just have to put the values and calculate according to simple equations. Hope you will do this and not disappoint me by just seeing the video and not making an attempt yourself. Good luck.